I always felt a certain underlying anxiety and dissatisfaction that I wasn't doing what I was really meant to be doing. I won't hunger for your attention. I won't be let down by your intention. I won't hang on every single word you say. And I'm done with feeling low every time that you don't show. I'm not gonna hang around and wait. Hi, I'm Anushka Jaktiani. I'm a Mumbai girl, born and brought up here. I'm a singer and a songwriter. Only last year did I decide to pursue music full time. Prior to this, music has always been a serious passion and a great hobby, but I never pursued it full time. I've worn many hats. I've been a journalist with NDTV, with Business India. I've had a retail business which I recently closed down. So now it's only music, and I've always felt that's my calling. and i'm taking this really seriously people are always asking you what do you do and it's always respectable to say that you have a regular 9 to 5 job or you're a business owner but to say that you're an aspiring singer somehow doesn't sound that impressive and we're always out to impress people we're always trying to toe the line and follow somebody else's notion of what is acceptable i did go through many spells of anxiety and depression i have sought help for all of this i have spoken to counselors and seen professionals and i realized that somewhere it was because i wasn't doing what i was meant to do what i love and what i'm good at because i think with music not only do i feel happy i think i can make a lot of other people happy and when i got over this last phase of anxiety you know with help from counselors and talking to people i felt that i was feeling strong enough to take this big jump to take this big leap forward because if i didn't do it when i was feeling strong i didn't want to lapse back into a moment of anxiety and weakness i waited a very very long time but i think the time is right i mean time's not stopping for anyone so if it's not now it'll never happen So I took the big jump and here I am. So with Anushka's story you've actually realized that life has a predestined journey for you. And often times we can't hear it because we hear the voices and the sounds of our families, of our communities and they tell us what to do. So we follow that journey. It is unfortunate because that journey that we follow when it's not unique to us and when it's not the journey that we want and that we've come here on earth for we get confused there's a lot of stress there's anxiety a lot of depression that comes with that confusion we take on different roles we start to maybe even become good at those roles but there's a nagging there's a knocking on your door that says hey this is not my destiny So I'd like to highlight to all the parents out there, to all the teachers out there, to all the students out there, find your true calling or else if you are depressed and if you are anxious and if you are stressed about the kind of life that you have, it is not according to your calling. So I would encourage you if you feel that you know, this is not what you want to do, reach out to a therapist, reach out to an expert because they can define your journey for you by just showing you a mirror. They do not have to tell you anything or teach you anything, but they show you a mirror of your life, and then they help you define your goals and your strategies to enable you to reach your destination.